Hi, I'm Jim from Easy Tankless. Why do tankless heaters sometimes freeze up? Well, you have two basic kinds of tankless heaters, your direct vent and your not direct vent type. The older style tankless heaters, they use the air that's in the room where the heater is mounted for the combustion air. And older style furnaces, this is the way your stove works, your gas stove. The air in the room is what the fire breathes and combusts with. Newer style tankless heaters, like this one here, are called direct vent. What that means is they get their intake air for combustion from outside. This one has a concentric pipe. There is an inner pipe that's the exhaust going out, and then the outer part of this pipe is intake air. So this heater is sealed. It doesn't use the air in this room for combustion. Well, if a tankless heater is in the same room, say a basement or a garage, where there is a large furnace, and say that furnace is not direct vent, meaning it uses the room's air for combustion. On really cold nights, the furnace may be running constantly. Of course, the tankless heater is not running because you're asleep. That room can actually have a vacuum, negative pressure. If you have a really well-sealed house, which most people do nowadays to conserve energy, if there's a vacuum in that room, then that combustion air that needs to come back in that room to be replaced as the furnace is using it is going to come in from just the smallest little crack under the seal in the garage door or in a crack in the basement wall or in a vent that's been installed in the wall for air to come in to be replaced. On home installs, often they don't meet code. Code is how many cubic feet of room space per thousand BTUs of your devices that are in that room. So this heater is sucking all night long, sucking air, negative pressure in the room of vacuum. Air comes backwards in the exhaust pipe of your tankless heater. It's especially bad on the old style because they had slots in the sides or in the bottom because they also use room air for combustion. The heater's not running, so the water is sitting in there in the heat exchanger, in that tubing, and that cold air all night long, hours, rushing in being drawn in by the vacuum in the room caused by the running furnace, the heater freezes up. It can freeze solid, a block of ice inside, and that ice expanding splits the tubing. And this is caused because you have a vacuum in the room that is causing a backdraft in the exhaust. Even a direct vent heater can do that. If you have a big vacuum for a long period, even the smallest opening in the heater body at a, at a joint can cause cold air to be sucked backwards through your exhaust system, even though it's a direct vent and in theory it doesn't share room air for combustion, it can be a source for an air supply for that other device and over time can freeze up. So if you've got a situation where you live in a very, very cold climate where your furnace is a big one and running for long periods in a room that's possibly too small or doesn't have an adequate replenishment supply of combustion air, it's possible you can freeze up even a direct vent heater. So you should probably think about additional sealant tape, the same tape that you use on your exhaust joints around every single opening, every perimeter edge of your, your direct vent heater just to help to make sure it's completely sealed so it can't be a source of air coming in, drawn in by that negative pressure in the room. We take our standard aluminized tape for sealing ductwork and we go all the way around the perimeter of the heater. You can see here how I have the tape started there and then in this short video you can see how I very easily run my thumb along there and fold the tape over and it really looks quite nice if you're careful and then when you're done any excess you can trim off with your standard little exacto 
hobby knife or with a uh, industrial type razor blade and this will seal your whole heater body so that there is not a backdraft caused by the negative pressure in the room that has some other gas fired device. This is a common mistake with home installs. You have a big device sucking room air backdrafting a smaller device. So it's that simple. This is why tankless heaters freeze up. Thank you for watching.